3rd at the 2013 Conference on Retroviruses and Opportunistic Infections, or CROI, AIDS.gov spoke with Dr. Tom Frieden, the director of the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, about HIV testing and linkage to care as a prevention strategy, as well as key messages from his opening plenary. I was taking care of patients when the HIV test was first discovered, and I remember vigorous debates of why get tested because there was no treatment. Now it's very clear. Testing can make a huge difference in and of itself, but even more so it can get people into care and onto treatment. The new HHS guidelines for HIV treatment in the U.S. recommend treatment at every CD4 level. This improves health of the individual. It also can help us turn the epidemic around. So testing and linkage to care is really one sentence, it's one phrase. We need to keep them together and hold our programs accountable for continuing to increase testing, increase link linkage to care, increase retention in care, and ensure that we can actually achieve the goals globally of an AIDS-free generation. We've made enormous progress. Around the world, more than five million people are on treatment because of PEPFAR, and CDC is honored to provide about half of all of that treatment. Last year alone, more than 200,000 babies weren't HIV infected because of PEPFAR. In this country, we've made major progress. We have, for the first time, a national plan and an implementation plan for that. And yet, we have so much further to go. So many people are not on treatment who should be. So many people began treatment and fell out of treatment. To improve our systems, we need not only better research, we also need more accountability. We need to make sure that healthcare systems have the focus, the information systems, and the teamwork to ensure that patients get the best possible care for their own sake and the sake of their communities.